In this video, we'll be discussing how peak performing sales professionals are just and honest people. Peak performing sales professionals know many problems may arise from being dishonest. We have to waste far too much time, energy, and memory space in an attempt to remember what we have said and or done in order to cover our tracks. We can lose credibility, which would cost us the advantage of relationships with other people. My good friend Joe Scuturo taught me truth means no memory. We have found that there are two major categories of reflexive lies in sales. First, the lie to get rid of somebody. Second, the ego defense lie, which is a lie that is meant to cover up for someone's inadequacy. We will describe lies within these two different categories in order to give you a better picture of each reflective lie. First, we will start with the get rid of you type of lies. In sales, you certainly have a couple of these get rid of you lies. I'm not interested. Send me literature. We already use someone else. I'll have to call you back. Tell them I'm in a meeting. Many people in positions where they screen phone calls for decision makers or decision makers who procrastinate use these excuses because they've learned that they work easily and quickly. The problem is that in many cases, there are peak performing sales professionals out there who can solve their problems that they need solving. Peak performers gladly say to a response, I don't have time to talk right now. Well, let's set up an appointment when you do. Then just set up a date and let them know the call will be quick. And if it's not what you thought, we can just hang up. Get rid of you lies are effective in get rid of people, but they are detrimental. They are detrimental because they avoid discussion. Prospects and clients are not used to peak performing sales professionals. We are not trying to sell you anything. We want to determine if we are a right fit together, then see if there are any problems or pain or challenges that our product and services can solve. Other times, prospects don't want to have a discussion at this time, or they don't want to invest time together. And therefore, good decisions are not necessarily made and the problems continue to exist. Most problems that peak performers can solve usually saves or can make the prospective client money. The ego defense lie may be the most damaging. It's damaging because it protects us from getting quality information on what we can change to make our lives better. Like, it's not my fault, is certainly an ego defense lie because it protects your ego from criticism by avoiding a responsibility. Some other ego defense lies which protect your ego from criticism are, I've never done anything like that before. Even more damaging. After receiving terrible service at a restaurant, saying to the maitre d', manager, waitress, or waiter, yes, everything was fine. Imagine how damaging this is. The restaurant is going to continue giving bad service based on what customers say, and most customers, even if they receive bad service, will say, everything was fine. Peak performers will always provide feedback as politely as possible. Then they will return to see if any performance has changed. If not, the restaurant lost a customer. If yes, the restaurant gained a loyal customer. In the book, Human Sigma, by John Asplund and John H. Fleming, states that there are three types of clients. One, the client that never complains. Two, the client that complains but walks away happy. And three, the client that complains and you can't satisfy them. The book also states, it's all about how you handle complaints that makes the difference in a profitable client. The research from the book states, the clients that never complain can take their business elsewhere and you would never find out until they left. Then there's the client that complains but walks away happy. Happy does not mean that you gave them what they wanted, but you handled the complaint with understanding, compassion, and honesty. The client knows that they can count on you when something goes wrong or you will provide them with an honest reason why you cannot help them with the request. Now, the client that complains and can't be satisfied, well, in a lot of cases, they never can be satisfied. Expect to lose them. The book goes on to state that the client that complains but walks away happy on how they were handled is the most profitable of the three types of clients. Peak performing sales professionals know that when clients complain, it provides them the opportunity to learn how to improve the company's products or services and to handle the situation honestly and fairly. Back to people who are not stating the truth. 
Have you ever heard the term buyers or liars? This does not mean that they are dishonest people, but when they are considering buying your product or service, they tend to hold back information or exaggerate what they have now to get more out of the salesperson. This could be a better price or more value added services. Peak performing sales professionals know that people use reflective lies to put off decisions. Peak performers simply don't lie. If they find it necessary to hold back information to protect someone, they do this very responsibly. They analyze the risk for not lying by asking what is the worst that can happen. They then ask what is the best possible result. They analyze the options, they ask what else can they say that is not a lie, and they openly communicate. People may not immediately respond well to honesty, but they certainly appreciate it. Action items. One, always err on the other person's side. Two, provide polite, honest feedback when you are being serviced or bought a product. Then give the company another shot at being their client. Three, do not take what is not yours. If given more change than you were supposed to receive, give the money back. Greatness is being world-class. Sell to greatness.